You know, obviously coming off a of Saturday, uh, you know, it was a great weekend for, for our football team. Uh, you know, our players went out there and, and uh, played an ex exceptionally high level against uh, you know, a program that, is, that has been so very successful and a program that we've really struggled against over the last few years uh, you know, in, in being able to, to defend and, to, you know, and obviously to have the success uh, you know, against them. And so uh, for, our, for our football team to go out there, um, you know, played at an unbelievably high level, our defense, I thought, was phenomenal, created five takeaways. Uh, you know, our offense, you know, even though we weren't always clicking on all, all cylinders, uh, you, know, you know, made the plays necessary to put ourselves in a position to be successful. Uh, special teams showed up big, couple big kicks by the by the freshmen to, uh, to to ensure the victory. And, you know, it, all in all, just to, you know, the, the effort was, was absolutely incredible. Uh, it was relentless all over the field. Our, the passion which our kids played with, uh, it, was a, it was a wonderful day. You know, the, the uh, Tiger Nation coming out and support I think we're over 40,000 uh, you know you know fans there for uh, for another home game which I think was the third time so far this season we've been able to do that uh, you know the support the excitement with everything that we're doing uh, we feel we, we feel that growing within our program uh, you know, uh, coming out yesterday, you know, top 25 in the AP poll, uh, you know, is great exposure. It's great exposure for, for our university, great exposure for our football team. The, the fact that, uh, you know, there, there is that national recognition of, of what's going on here. Um, but, you know, like I said a couple weeks before, the, the, the number four name doesn't, doesn't necessarily define who we are. You've got to go out there and you've got to earn it. And this week, we've got a short week. Uh, we go on the road to, to, uh, to Houston, which is a phenomenal football team. Uh, they're coming off a, a little bit of a setback, uh, you know, much that reminds me much like uh, the setback we had a few weeks ago when we went down to Orlando. You know, they were in a game that was very close, uh, you know, there, you know, through three quarters, had a couple turnovers, some thing, bad things happened, but, uh, you know, we're playing a team that is that is extremely talented, very explosive, and, and very well coached. And so uh, we know we've, we're going to have to have a quick turnaround. You don't get to celebrate the last one. you got to focus on the next one. And so, uh, you know, going down there, we got an abbreviated week. You know, our kids are, are, are excited about this game because they know what, what comes with this game. The last three games between Memphis and Houston have all come down to one score. Uh, it's been a it's been a 60 minute game. We know that's what that that's what we're going to see and that's what we got to prepare for and and we've got to have a great week of preparation to make sure we can put ourselves in a position uh, to to have success. But uh, you know we are definitely looking forward to the opportunity. Coach, you saw that Houston has also be kind of like, oh man, this is not going to make my job any easier. <laughs> Well, there's there's nothing that's gonna make my job easier this week. Uh, you know, going on the road to uh, to play at Houston on a short week. I know I know what this football team that we're going to play. Uh, you know the talent that they have, the coaching staff. Uh, you know this is gonna be a, a tremendous battle. And and uh, you know our kids. Uh, there's no you know nobody in our in our uh, uh, you know our football program are, are concerned at all with what the, what the result of their last game was. We know that that we're gonna get their absolute uh, uh, best shot. And I mean we better we better be clicking on all cylinders if we want to have an opportunity to win. Yeah, I mean, you know, Riley, obviously, you know, he was a little, little sore there afterwards, but, uh, you know, I think he's going to be fine as, as we're moving forward. What stands out about Houston when you look at them? Well, you know, you, you look at them and they're very multiple. Offensively, they're multiple in what they do. They, they, they want to have balance, running, throwing. You know, they got a quarterback that can do a little bit of both. Um, they have depth at quarterback. They've used two of them this year. Uh, you know, big receivers, guys that, can, guys that can run, and just, you know, explosive players all over that side of the ball. Uh, defensively, and, you know, it all starts with their, with their defensive tackle Ed Oliver who I think is probably the most impactful player in our conference you know one of the most impactful defensive linemen in the country uh, you know at any school I've ever been at you know if we were playing this young man I'd say it's one of the best players uh, uh, regardless of conference regardless of where they are he's he is a phenomenal player and so and then when you take a phenomenal player and you surround them by uh, uh, you know so many other explosive athletes that can that can cause pro problems with a good defensive scheme uh, it, it, it definitely uh, uh, it, it leads you to some sleepless nights and we don't have enough nights not to sleep so uh, we got a lot of work to do um, and, and you know, we it's going to be take the best of our preparation to be able to handle handle these guys defensively. Coach, you know, freshman, you know, freshman and sophomore have 
the top 15 in interceptions. Talk about their development, Carter and Hall. Yeah, you know, both of those guys have played at, at an extremely high level. Uh, you know, we've already we talked about TJ this year and you know, continue to be impressed with him and, you know, what he's able to do as a pass defender. But then you also saw in the game, you know, a couple big hits that he made, uh, you know, third down stops. He just a relentless football player. And then Austin, you know, the versatility that he shows, you know, he's a the conference uh, defense player of the week this uh, this week, well deserved. I mean, I think it was two two, uh, two interceptions, you know, the, the uh, forced fumble or fumble recovery, and uh, you know, and I think it was ten tackles. You know, Austin with this past week, we were able to put him back at free safety and really let him run sideline to sideline. Um, you know, he was he was involved in all pass co pass coverages and also fit in the run. Uh, you know, was just really pleased with his preparation and and the way that he went out and played. Uh, you know, I think he's showing himself as as one of the top defenders that we have in the league. Uh, so uh, to know that both those guys are still young. It shows that the, the future is bright for, for them and their careers, and uh, we're, we're sure glad we have them. Coach, kind of, kind of a two-part. Um, Austin was playing like three state. You moved him back there. You had everybody. A little bit about the the work it took to come up with that scheme with you and Chris Ball, the defensive coordinator, and then how on such a short week you go from changing up everything you were doing to face Navy. Now you got to play a more traditional team. Well, I mean, I think I think you hats off to Chris and the and defensive coaching staff. I mean, the preparation, uh, the planning, the the uh, the overall understanding of what they wanted to try to execute last week against Navy was it, it took a lot of time and it's something that stretched back from the summer to spring ball uh, and then to be able to implement it here in in a, in a in a week period of time was was very impressive and our kids believed in it. They went out and and uh, played at a high level. But uh, you know, the thing that that was phenomenal about was the five takeaways and uh, you know that came from just finish. That came from passion. That was relentless effort. And, uh, you know, we've had some moving parts on defense this year. We've had guys that are injuries, different other, other circumstances uh, that we've had to move guys around. And, you know, you look at Jannard Avery played exclusively at defensive end. You know, you've had Sharif White was, you know, back at linebacker. Uh, you know, you know John Cook down at the edge, forcing unit. Austin at the back. All Everybody doing that had, to, had a different job they had to do. But there was still one focus. And they prepared at an unbelievable level. Um, it was, And then it showed up on game day, which was, was a, a very proud moment uh, you know Chris deserves you know all the credit uh, the defensive coaching staff deserves all the credit and because they got those guys to go play and I was really proud of that and then to flip to flip the switch and uh, now you prepare for a Houston team that uh, you know is, is so very explosive and and so very capable of making you look really bad because of, of what they do uh, you know that's what that's what presents a challenge and uh, you know I'd, I'd like to say that when the schedule came out uh, you know I, I didn't notice but I noticed how these two games backed up uh, to each other and so you know we we know what's a, we know what's going to be a a, a a great opportunity for us, but you know, also a wonderful challenge in our kids' focus. You know, it started right after the game for us. Uh, you know, I went home, you know, grabbed a pizza and started watching, started watching Phil, uh, you know, preparing for, for this one. And so it is, a, uh, you know, it's something that we, we it's a quick turnaround, but our, our guys will be ready. Coach, you mentioned the ranking. The last time uh, Memphis was ranked, it was Houston that knocked them off. How do you guard against that, especially on the short week? You know, it's uh, like I said, the ranking is the ranking is great for exposure, but that number doesn't you know it doesn't define who we are. We've got to go. We've got to go earn it every week. We're not going to need an extra motivational speech. Uh, you know, going into this one, you know, we got to we have to prepare to the best of our ability because we're going against a really good football team that is that is very capable and is one of the best home records over the last few years of any team in college football. So all those things line up. We, it's you know just because we have a number in front of our name doesn't doesn't uh, uh, doesn't give us any added advantage. We if we want to keep that you better go out there and you play or play to the best of your ability and uh, you know we're grateful for the exposure we're, we're grateful for the recognition uh, from people across this country on, on where our program's going but just like anything else you, you've got to earn it speaking of guarding against something back to work against you, uh, say it again sir the penalties uh, finally you got those under control there's something you did in the preparation for the game that kept those you know, we're, we're continuing to, to, to emphasize, focus on, you know, there were still some that showed up that, uh, you know, that we'd like to we'd like to get eliminated. But the thing that has not showed up in the in the recent weeks has been the personal foul penalties, the, uh, you know, the the extra the extracurricular. And that's something our guys are playing with a lot more, uh, lo uh, a lot more focus and control on, on in each of those decisions. And so uh, that's something I'm pleased on. But uh, there's still some focus penalties that we've got to that we've got to get uh, eliminated. The pre-snap, uh, you know, emotion, things like that. That, uh, that that we're working working hard at. You, you were talking about guarding against, like, okay, you got the number in front of your name now and everybody's happy about that. All of your goals that you set at the beginning of the year now are all back on the table with San Diego State losing. Um, you are in the drive. If you catch this Houston team, that'll put you in the driver's seat to win the West. 
get in a championship game against what could be an undefeated team from the East, which could put you in a, if you win that, could put you in the New Year's Day, the big, the big game. How do you keep your guys from thinking ahead? How do you keep from thinking ahead to that? Well, I'm impressed. I'm impressed with all the thinking you put towards it, George. <laughs> well, uh, you know, to be honest with you, 100% focus this week. Uh, I have not talked to our team one one bit about anything beyond this week, nor did I the week before or the week before or the week before. We know what is necessary. All right, you win this week. That's what you have to do. That's what is that's what's that's what's asked and required of you. Uh, the same thing before we went to Central Florida. That's what was asked. I was required. We did not get the job done. So it, all of what you hope for in the future, uh, it, what, what you do on this field this week, what you do in your preparation, your practice, your film study, uh, you know how you go to class, you know how you're how you're taking you know, taking care of your body. All of those things are gonna are gonna contribute to the to the to what you're able to show on Thursday night. And if we take care of our business, we go out there and play to the best of our ability, put ourselves in a position to be successful. Then, then I, I I believe in what can come. Of, uh, of this football team. But at the end of the day, it's not because you have, have a, a goal set that if this happens, this happens, that happens. No, you focus on today. Go out there and be the best you can possibly be. Prepare your butt off, and then you know, hopefully you go out there and, and play at a high level. Mike, this is your third weekday game so far this season. Do you get used to the challenge, and what are the challenges you know, there, are, there it is. It's I mean, you know, we love the exposure. I mean, it's great for our program. Like I said, I I love seeing the, you know our, the 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 Memphis logo. You know, you know they're on national TV. You know, obviously uh, the number of people that are able to witness what's going on here. Uh, but when you look at the, the the schedules, when you're dealing with classes, you're looking at the routine. We don't have a routine. That's it's been so crazy this season. Whether it was a game being canceled, a game being moved. Uh, you know, moving from a Thursday or from a Saturday to a Friday. There's we have had no routine this year. But once again that's a wonderful compliment to the young men and the coaches that we have on this on on this uh, within this program because you're going to see adversity uh, there's going to be unexpected events that occur and so how do you respond to that you've got to just you know put your head down go forward and, and focus on doing your job and so you know even though it's a short week I mean, we, we have to we have to adapt some things to, to how we prepare, but you know, we've got to go get it, and we got to go get it. We got to go on the road, and we're going to be jumping into a hostile environment, which I'm sure we're going to see some adversity there as well. So uh, it's it's all going to come down to how our guys how our guys can handle that. But the exposure you said that you get the recruiting advantage. I mean, what, where does it? No, oh, it's a, it's a great it's a great advantage because you know we're we're going into all these uh, into all these living rooms and uh, to, and trying to uh, educate the young men that we're recruiting about what the University of Memphis football's uh, you know where it where it is but not only where it is where it's going and uh, you know you have a game like like Saturday where you're you, you you're, you're back to back uh, you know. Um, I guess victories over top 25 teams. You know, you see the excitement within the community. Uh, you know, there's there, there's a buzz about what's going on here, and so for recruits to be able to see that and be a part of it, it's huge because it's that name recognition, the face the, the face recognition, and and so they can see that that this is something they want to be a part of moving forward. And uh, you know, it's been wonderful for our recruiting efforts. It's been it's been great for the exposure for the for the city, and that's something that um, you know we definitely uh, we definitely enjoy. And coach, following up on that, how a Thursday night game. It's you know it, it definitely is something that they you know I I tell them about it and uh, they they take a great deal of pride in knowing that they're going to be the 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 the, the prime time uh, the prime time show in across the country when it comes to college football so uh, to be playing on ESPN is an exciting thing it's it's something that uh, we know that uh, there's going to be a lot of eyes on it and uh, you know I knew that this game uh, coming into the season before the, ever, the schedule ever came out I had a pretty good sense this game would be a Thursday night prime time game and so uh, because this this is a game that has attracted a phenomenal play it's been a lot of a lot of action uh, you know two really really good football programs, you know, clashing together. And, uh, you know, it's, it's going to be one I'm, I'm glad I get to be a part of it. Hey, Coach, where were you when you heard that you ranked for, uh, top 25? And what did it mean personally for you, not as a team, but personally? Uh, to, be, uh, to be honest, I was sitting in uh, in our coach's office or coaching uh, staff room, and I was watching film. Somebody texted me, said, "Hey, we're top 25." I said, "Okay, it won't last long if we don't win." So, <laughs> you know, it, uh, uh, you know, for uh, it's it's it is a, like I said, it's a great thing. It's uh, I, I love I love being a part of this program and the young men that I get to coach, uh, the the work that our coaches put into it. You want. 
it, it's humbling, uh, but it's also a great honor and uh, that, that people recognize what's going on here and where we're going. Uh, but at, at the end of the day, rankings, rankings are rankings, and it's, it's somebody's opinion, um, you know, and that opinion will change b based off your actions. So if we don't go out there and, and earn it this week, then it won't be there. And so that's something that our kids understand. You look across college football, and you know, last week there were so many top 10 teams that got knocked off uh, in decisive fashion. Um, you know, because what you see is who you are. And if, if we go out there and, and we play to the level that we're capable of, I mean, I'm, I'm excited about uh, where this team can go. If we, if we go out there and, and uh, you, know, you don't prepare at that level, uh, we're fully capable of, of you know, being beat and being beat, beat badly. There seems to be a family atmosphere around the county that players are pretty much doing it and you ask them. And you seem to like rub on the toilet. So it's like, what came first? Did you treat them like kids first or did they uh, you know, from the first day that I got here, um, you know, the very first talk I ever had with this team was was about what I wanted this program to look like. And uh, to me, the you know, I've got 100, and, I've got 110, 115 kids that are from all from different stories, all from different upbringings, backgrounds, and they've all been brought to Memphis for a specific purpose. Um, the one common factor that everybody will have a vision of is what a family is. Now, some of those families might be grandfathers, they might be uh, foster parents, they might be moms, dads, split parents, and, but they all understand what a family should uh, looks like when it comes to values. And so when I stood in front of the team the very first time, uh, I told them, I laid out the values of what, what we would stand for, uh, service, sacrifice, and working hard to be a, a respectful and a respectable program. And, uh, you know, and those kids all understand understood that. But I told him at the end of it, I said, guys, I, I can come up here and give you a speech, but at the end of the day, man, I'm not asking you to trust anything that I say. Just give me an opportunity to show that I'm trustworthy. And if, if as the head coach and our coaching staff, if we can be the example to our players for what we want this program to look like, then we have a much better chance for the buy-in. And, and that's what I've been probably most proud of, is that, I mean, we've all been able to do it together. I didn't know, I didn't know a handful of players when I, when I took the job here at Memphis, but now they, they are my family. And there's something that, you know, uh, you know, I pour my heart into them. They pour their heart into us. Um, you know, it's something that, that we, we, we all, uh, we, we've had highs, we've had lows, we've had good days, we've had bad, but, man, we do it together. And we continue to, to try to bring out the best in each other. And, uh, you know, I tell you, it's a, it's, a, it's a wonderful group to be a part of. All right, Coach, every family has problems from time to time. Ernest Suttles pleading not guilty in his case today. Can you walk us through the protocol with you and Dr. Wright, how you guys figure out how swiftly you have to move on, on something like that? And, and going forward, who knows? I don't know how quickly the courts will move if he's acquitted or whatever. What would be the, the future of that? You know, I'm, I mean, you know, obviously the situation happened this weekend. Uh, you know, that's something that uh, that we handled, and uh, and that's I mean, we have our, our process of what what goes on in that. But uh, you know, I can tell you that as as a program, you know, we're continuing to pour into our players, and uh, you know, there's been some things that have that have happened that have not brought the best of light, uh, you know, to 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 what we're to to our program, and it's embarrassing at times, you know, when that when those things happen. But I can tell you uh, that we we have an open door, and uh, you know, we we're open door to this community, we're open door to the media because. We believe in what we're doing and where we're going. And so as long as we stay true to, to continuing to build these young men to be the best that they can possibly be and to, to maintain focus on every single day, each decision and, and uh, you, everything we're doing, whether it's going to class, whether it's being to meetings on time, to the effort we give on the practice field, that, man, we're, we're just trying to grow every, every day in what, in what we're trying to accomplish, player, coach, everybody involved. All right, guys, thanks so much. Thank you, Coach.